Tanner has it. What a wonderful job you've done. Oh, Mary. Uh, My darling Mary. Let's not touch Mary. I've never <laughs> seen her so alive, Mr. Mary. Blenner. No, young lady, I think you'll find her was perfect. <laughs> Let's get the photograph, shall we? And then you can touch her all you want. No, she trinkets of my Mary. You can get rid of this bloody thing. I'll not have it buried with my daughter. I think you'll find I had a posed in quite a dignified position. Ready, Mr. Blenheim. Give me a few minutes. I need to liven her up a bit. Young man, could you put those boxes down, please? I've got my own system. Mr. Penner has it. When can we see the photograph? Well, Mrs. Carew, you haven't decided which case you want. You could have plush lined, or you could have velvet, or... Will we have it for the funeral? It would be such a comfort for everyone to see it. Well, Mr. Carew, I'll have it for you before that. Now, could you... Stop! You're carrying that upside down. Carruthers, could you come and help, please? You, you, you know how to pack it. Not really, but God knows the toy. I think velvet might be nice. If only Mary were alive herself to see the photograph. Well, unfortunately, she isn't. Look, I have it. I have it. Ah! Oh, that sounded like a nasty one, Mr. Blenner has. It sounded like a break. I might be just a fracture if you're lucky. I'm fine. Carruthers, could you help me to my courage, please? Has much changed? No, Miss Vickers. We've been smoking a lot more. Good for you, Crothers. don't have to do that. Then go to bed. I would not go to bed. You can't tell me what to do. I think your mother might have just sent you here so she could spy on me. Oh, no, I volunteered. Practically caused a scene. I need to be away from them. All of them. And don't do that. Uncle, I want to be an actress. Oh. And they will mock me for it at home. Just like they mocked you. Yes. I remember the mocking. I was thinking. Now that I'm living in town, that I could get some experience with a bit of theatre company. And ideally, never go back home to our family. Very well, Nancy. You can stay. Something's not right. Nothing right about doing that to yourself. That's a queer one. Slash bolt your wrists with a razor. Take turns. Then sit real upright, get comfortable, and let yourself bleed out. Calm as you like. 
Oh, yeah. That's a queer one. Roper, didn't they just say it was a queer one? Regan, do you need to be breathing down my neck like that? Well, I wouldn't have to if your sketches were any better, but they're shite, so get used to me. I don't think there's much point sketching this. Two identical suicides in one week. And they both look very, uh... Lifelike? Now you're talking. Did you get one of those memorial photographs done? Those odd photos you get when someone's dead? Yeah, one of those. Do you know the way the dead person looks alive? There's a, there's a fellow in town specialises in that racket. Mm. Blenner has, huh? I know his work. It's hard to tell which is actually the dead person. Mm. It's grim enough. Look, <sighs> McGloin had IRB connections. He was up to his neck in debt. Nah. It's never the most obvious thing. It's maybe not down in Cork. But up here, the obvious thing is usually the thing. Well, Brie, you're a young buck. Do you ever want to sniff out the big catch and walk your way up the ladder to Dublin Castle? I just want to do the job at hand. All right, there's no point making work for yourself needlessly. Right. You go through his bins outside there. Take your time. You don't want to miss anything. What? What do you mean? You said it yourself, boy. It's a queer one. Well, this won't do for starters. You're sure you packed the plate? I am personally offended by that question. You know how meticulous I am about my work. How do I know you haven't become careless in your old age? You were look over me, so... When these cases were left unattended... Careless? Did anyone interfere with this one? We didn't see a sinner, no. Well, now you're going to have to take me down to the Carew household right away. No. It's near midnight, Uncle, and they're bereaved. Oh, well, don't I know it? I'm nearly fit to kill myself listening to that mod and old chatter. Well, don't kill yourself until you take me there. First thing tomorrow morning. Nice to see you two are still rays of sunshine. Brock, plain or hassle, the memorial photographer himself. Do I know you? No. I know you. You did a lovely portrait of my cousin, Paddy Cream. Cream? Oh, yes. Killed by a bull. It wasn't a corner that I feel that poor Paddy wasn't kicked at. If I remember rightly, he cleaned up quite well. Mm. Now, is the master of the house in? No, they're at the funeral. Oh, yes, of course. Detective Frederick Regan. Yeah. Dublin Metropolitan Police. G Division. My middle name is James, in case you were wondering. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I was, yes. Um, could I possibly come in? I um, misplaced the lens cap here yesterday, I think. I sweat off my sack, Mr. Blenner has it, but uh, a small piece of equipment, maybe a needle in the haystack. Mm. We've had a spot of breaking and entering. I can't stand these opportunistic bastards. Knowing a poor family is bereaved and taken advantage. Hmm. Indeed. If I had the means, it'd be a mighty help to document crime scenes like this. Like, you know, the means of their uh, photography, I mean. Well, why don't you save up and buy yourself a camera? I've been trying to persuade the brass... Would you be a dear and have a look under that table for me? Doesn't seem to be there. I keep telling him. I keep telling him. 
Having a photographic department in the yard is the future. Will they listen to me? Will they? If any of your officers do happen to find a small item that's about this size, could you please tell them to treat it with the utmost care? Maybe use gloved hands and then get contact with me as soon as possible. No problem, Mr. Ben Hassett. Thank you so much. Um, you didn't happen to see anything peculiar when you were here yesterday? No, I don't believe I did. But then again, I found that family so overbearing that I hardly noticed anything else. They'd put ire on your hole, wouldn't they? Yes, they would. They would put ire on your hole. Good day, sir. Home store. I'm afraid not, Carruthers. <sighs> I'm sorry again for your loss, boy. I'm, I was wondering. You didn't happen to see some photographic equipment yesterday, did you? Hmm? Again, I'm sorry for your loss, young lady. I was wondering, did you have a look? <laughs> sorry again. Mr. Plannerhassan, you came. You came. Mr. Plannerhassan, have you brought the photograph of poor Mary? <laughs> Not quite, but all in good time. You said today. Yes, but my um, my foot that was injured in that quite unnecessary incident yesterday has set me back somewhat. It would, I suppose. Uh, oh. That was nearly an early grave for you, sir. Thank you. All right, Mr. Blennerhass. Yes, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Bloody nuisance of a man. Rock has it. As I live and breathe. Yeah. I love your work. Mm. I'll get that for you, sir. I wouldn't do that if I were you. No, nah, don't worry. I dug this one. Very kind. Look, I hope you don't find me too over-familiar. It's an honor to meet such a pioneer in the field of Irish photography. I know some people find your work quite distasteful, but not me. I think it's an art myself, to be honest. Oh. Yes, you're right. It is an art. The name's Connell Malloy. I've seen your work. The headman here, Billy Barron, showed me an elegant photograph of his uncle, Mr. Edwin Wainwright. Oh, yes, Wainwright. He was in the canal for four or five days. Yeah. And a mighty job you did at covering it up. Right, well, uh, thank you for your help. Good day. Yeah, did you hurt yourself, sir? Yes, just a mild fracture. I was wondering, Mr. Blenner, has it, if you're in need of assistance. I am looking for a new line of work, and I like the sketch, street scenes, real life, the characters, the Dublin, that sort of thing. And photography is an area I would love to gain experience in. Hmm. You look like the type of chap who likes to get his hands dirty. Well, I am a grave digger, so. Yeah. Yes, that you are. Well, perhaps I might have some work for you. And you'll be happy to know it involves some digging for information. Uh, I see. Information. Yes. All right. So, there's my address. Come and visit when you've finished work. Certainly. Thank you, sir. Billy, be good, man. Oh, here we go. Look, I just need some cordage to do a small job. No. There's digging to be done, Malloy. It's consumption season. 
Yeah, done a night. Look, I promise I'll do a double shift in return. My mother needs me to take the extra work. And you don't want to be letting me mad down there, do you, Billy? Certainly do not. Actually, I owe them for a little visit now, I think of it. Ah, oh, no, that's... Uh, that sounds a bit ominous there, Billy. Yeah, so you best leave off. Just up to walls at the minute, anyway. Oh. Anyhow, thanks for that, Billy. You're an absolute gent. Good luck. Yeah, but I uh, have flowers to give her. I've no call for that many flowers. But she got them off the grave. The suit is too big, isn't it, ma? When was the last time you wore it? Jerome's funeral? Yeah, I felt more comfortable then. It's about time we start dressing neat again. There's no call in dressing neat if it's only the dead around you. Maybe not for much longer, eh? Yes? Uh, I've an appointment with Mr. Blennerhassett now. How exciting. Is that? It's, it's mud. And you'd be surprised how much I've already scraped off, actually. Now, a photographic plate has gone missing. A very, very important photographic plate. Might have been stolen? Well, it's not in the family home. Carruthers has searched his carriage countless times. And Nancy has searched every corner of this place under my watchful eye. Mr. Malloy, you do appreciate my reputation, don't you? Yeah. Uh, many of the grieving families that I've met in the course of my work. Yes, grave digging. Yeah. Well, they've been comforted so greatly by your photography. You bring the dead to life. Yes, indeed. Well, this photograph is more important to this family than money. And my reputation is more important to me than money. I want you to go to other photographers and see if they have encountered a photographic plate in the last 24 hours. Yeah. And under no circumstances are you to say who you work for. Mr. Malloy. Here are a list of photographic studios in Dublin. The ones underlined are the ones my uncle feels are out to get him the most. You have beautiful handwriting, ma'am. I wrote that. Mr. Malloy, a small present. He says he doesn't need them anymore. That's very good of you. It's just a bit tidier. Um, maybe do that outside. Visitor, Uncle. Well, now, as I have it, the parents didn't approve of the marriage. They had notions. And uh, this Desmond Roth, well, he's a Fenian from a working class background. And when Mary got sick, he couldn't afford to take care of her. 
Ah. So she went home to convalesce. And there she died. So on the morning of the funeral, the suspect rock broke in, mad with grief he was to see the dead wife. And when she wasn't there, I suspect that he stole a memento. Hmm. And that got me kind of thinking about your search. Oh, why would he take a lens cap? Well, maybe it wasn't a lens cap. Maybe you lost the photo of Mary and naturally didn't want the parents to find out about it. <laughs> That's nonsense. It's developing as we speak. Give us a look. No. The family kept her from him because he was a former convict, a Fenian agitator, and an enemy of the crown. Hence my appointment to the case. So it's a, it's a good thing that you have that photo safe and sound. Because imagine if you lost it though. Huh? huh? <laughs> That'd be gas now, all right. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, <Yeah. laughs> you, you would have lost the, the last picture of their daughter. <laughs> and lied to the DMP about that. I'll head on. <clears throat> uh, Nancy, would you see the detective out, please? Yes, of course. Thank you for your time. And if you think of anything, let me know. What's that now? Oh, oh, oh. 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 I said call the police. What happened? You're not the police. I don't have to tell you anything. Uh, do you want to be untied? Do I? What do you think? Untie me. Release me. Why are you here? Um. Uh, I, I'm just looking for a stolen camera plate. It's a picture of a family. A uh, family where one of them happens to be dead? No. The man who ransacked me. He wanted to develop a picture of his dead wife. You're an errand boy for Blenna Hesse, aren't you? No. I, I don't know who that is, so... Of course. He wouldn't be caught dead talking to old Rubenstein. I don't know what Blenner has he. Oh, that's good. Then you won't care. He'll be getting an angry madman arriving to his studio. What was that now? The Beast. He didn't know who Blenner has it was either. So I gave him a good recommendation to get his photo developed. Not that you care. Why would you? You don't know him. I give up. You could have saved us the trouble of searching everywhere. I am not telling some loudmouthed policeman that I lost a photograph. He might tell the crews. He might blab. And I don't want anyone having any leverage over me. Now, if that's that damned policeman, you tell him to make an appointment just like everyone else. Well, 
What's she tied up in your now? Um, she has a tendency to move quickly and be very loud. You'll do this job for me, and neither of you will make any fuss. Oh, Jesus. Malloy, as you can see, Mr. Roth here has went to great lengths to attain his dearly departed wife's photograph, which he stole from me while I waited for the doctor. Shouldn't have left the case open. Well, under the threat of his knife and the one he carries in his belt. And the knife in my boot. And the knife in his boot. I will undertake the development of the photograph and put this whole matter to rest. No. Wait, just wait. Malloy, let him tie you up. What else are you going to do? I'd like to assist you. I'll assist you head force through the window if you keep talking. Uh, uh, Mr. Roth? Uh, Mr. Roth, um... This man is my assistant, and as you can see by my predicament, I need assistance. So, um, if you want your job done quickly... I don't want to see them. Well, the only photographs I took of Mary was with her family. They made her weak and made her vulnerable, and now they get a picture of her, and I don't. But if I can't have a picture with her, neither can they. Maybe we can arrange a photograph. What, Malloy? Are you going to put your grave digging skills to good use? No, I meant maybe there's a, a way we can take. Mary out the image. Perhaps we can cut her out and just place her in a case all of her own. Right, Mr. Blenner has it. Well, I would be loath to compromise the image, but if that's what you want. You dig graves. Yeah, well, hopefully not for much longer. And you photograph the dead. Better than anyone, yes. We want a photograph of the two of us. Of oh, the two of who? So, so of the two of you together? We fetch my Mary. Fe fetch? Um, I don't think fetch is a very good... Do you Malloy here took the very grave that your Mary lies in? Hmm? If you're suggesting that we're going to dig up that poor woman instead of just altering a photograph... You're out of your mind. You're absolutely raving mad. I want to see her! And I want my photograph. Well, may maybe a, a light disinterment? There's no such thing as a light disinterment. Look, I'm certainly willing to recompense you because you will be working for me, albeit under the threat of violence from Mr. Roth here. So I'm asking you to assist me. Please? We are going to need all the help we can get. Will she be quiet? Mm-hmm. Dig up a grave! Uncle, I knew you were morbid, but this is too much. As far from quiet she is. <laughs> oh. Look, Nancy, this is a very delicate intervention. Now, if the alarm is going to be raised, we're going to need you to put on a performance to distract any intruders from our activities. So for now, please be quiet. Mm. You circle around, we'll be back in an hour. Now, if you see we've got company, do that whistle. Not now, man, when we've got company. I hear you whistling, and I'll start my lunatic bereaved widow act. Be <laughs> 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 careful. 
Now, don't damage the gasket. Open it. No, we have to be very careful. Open it, I said. Mr. Roth, um, I do appreciate you want to see your wife again, but we are digging a grave in the middle of the night. So wouldn't it be better to wait until we're in the safety of the chapel? All right. We'll hurry it up then. No, not too much hurry. We don't want to be dropping the coffin. We all need to carry the coffin. Yeah. Hi. <clears throat> Gently does it. It wouldn't be even bury or with a ring, Master. No, no, you can't do that. We want her with me in the picture. Yes, but Mary must stay in the coffin. Now, we don't have time to pose her efficiently. If we don't get my photograph, this fella be digging tree fresh graves, do you hear me? you take this off for? Oh, no, 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 no. It was the father. He refused to have the photograph taken without that on, so... And, and I forgot I had it. But I think it'd be nice if you put it back to its rightful place. Then we can take a beautiful photograph as long as Mary stays in the coffin. Hmm? I thought it was gone. Well, it's yours again. Now, um, so if everyone could cooperate for the next... 20 minutes or so, and then that means that nobody needs to get stuck with a knife. We'll need to get you cleaned up. I don't have any other clothes, just bits of me lodgings, Sally. Well, we'll just have to make do with what we have then, won't we? The lens must be focused very precisely like so. Careful. You look very handsome. Malloy, could you adjust that lamp over there for me, please? <clears throat> Mr. Roth, could you possibly just adjust Mary's face? Doesn't sound like the whistle he normally does. Maybe he's changed it. But then again, why would you do that? We were the one that's supposed to recognize it. Standing here talking about it quite defeats the purpose of the whistle. Did someone alert the Rossers? Hey, don't blame us. Graves dug up, unholy photo shoots at all hours. And you think no one's gonna notice what the hell we're doing? We'll need a good story to explain this. Can't smoke in here. All right, hurry it up. If they try and take me, I won't go down without a fight. Well, there's reason enough to stay focused. Okay. Stay still. And if you could just. Uncle, can we please just take the bloody Shh. photo? So to begin, we were all kidnapped by a madman. Sorry I didn't believe you about the old lens cap. Yes, you thought me wrong, Detective. 
But that brute chased me down until he'd gotten that print in his grasp. Now I suspect that he's taken the plate to one of my rivals. I'd say it was that A.G. Rubenstein. There's a man I could do some forceful interrogation. Oh, I will. And Desmond Roth won't walk the streets of Dublin for very long. Don't you worry. Oh, careful, lads. Be careful with their coffee. Um, I'll fetch Crothers. Uh, Mr. Blennerhassett, I was wondering if I could ask your expertise on the matter. I don't see why not. Is it easy to pose the bodies like you do? For the layman. No, I, I previously worked as a mortician, so I'm at an advantage there. Um, I suppose with the right training, it should be reasonable enough to do it. Why do you ask? See, there's been a couple of deaths recently. Mm. They got me wondering. The daughter of a judge last week, a young salesman, and only two days ago. Hmm. Suicide appears, but the bodies were posed in the exact same position, with the same wounds. Hmm. Hmm. Great one. Yes, well, very tragic. But alas, um, suicide's not my area of expertise. Good day to you, detective. Just, uh, Right, um... Leave the coffin to the grave diggers! That wasn't the whistle we agreed to. I got caught off guard and I had to give a more discreet whistle. There's no such thing as a discreet whistle. Look, you pay me for one job. That's the job I do best. <laughs> Barely. Ask a lot of I can sleep for her. This is still what you do, is it? What? Use people and then discard them. So I... I assume you're talking about the grave digger. I am. But myself also. You were the only person in our family who showed any interest in encouraging my talents and just... Well, me as a person. And then one day, you no longer had any use for me. That was cold, wasn't it, Uncle? That was not what it seemed. Now, I am grateful for your help. Isn't that something? Is it? From time to time, I'm going to need someone to help carry my equipment and assist me occasionally. You seemed willing to learn, so uh, that's something, I suppose. Thank you for the offer, Mr. Blennerhassey. I'm such an admirer of your work. I just... I need to be regarded as more than just a grave digger. So you don't want a job? No, I do. I, re I really... That's all I need to hear. No. Please, hear him out, Uncle. I think I've proven myself during that ghastly affair that, that I'm a trustworthy fellow and that I should be afforded that trust as your assistant and not as just some filthy errand boy. Do I have that trust, Mr. Blennerhassey? Yes. As long as your work is of the highest standard. Oh, it, it will be. Thank you, sir.
Ah. It seems I'll have an assistant again. Well, Nothing lasts forever in this business, does it? Well, the change might do me good. Bring a bit of life to the place. shouldn't be here. I do apologize, miss. I was looking for the bathroom. A marvelous party, by the way. Very entertaining, lovely people. I've been invited to a party later. There's this commoner snake and a nuisance up himself around the town in the last few days, Johnny, and he's been funding his travels by selling his photographs. Is there somewhere for my coachman to wait? He can't wait here. It's not safe here with the storm coming. No carriage. No means to call for a carriage. It looks like you gentlemen may need to spend the night. 